All right. Trigonometry. What we're talking about are, are studying triangles, and we're going to start off with studying right triangles, which we saw in geometry. And so something you might remember is this so ka toa from geometry. And so it may sound familiar, may not, but what we're talking about is the S stands for the sign. And so this is the sign, which is S-I-N-E. And we shorten it, and it kind of looks like the word sin, because it is the word sin, but we say sign. Um, and it's made up of the opposite over the hypotenuse. And it's a ratio. And so what all of these are, are ratios. It's ratios between the two sides of a triangle. And so whenever you have the sine, you're talking about the angle. Sine of an angle. And so let's, let's say this is this little symbol here. And this is called a theta, which is just a Greek letter. You probably see it quite a bit. Um, maybe on um, sororities and such like that. But so if we take the sine of an angle, what we're talking about is the side across from that angle, the opposite, um, and the hypotenuse, which the hypotenuse is always across from that right angle in the triangle. So the sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And so it's going to be the side that's adjacent, meaning sideways or touching or adjoining um, your angle. Now, the hypotenuse is also um, adjacent to it. However, that's called the hypotenuse. It's special. So the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And so that's going to be that ratio, just the one divided by the other. And the tangent, the toa part, tangent, is made up of the opposite and the adjacent. And so you're going to have the ratio of this opposite side divided by this, and so the opposite over the adjacent. And so people use Sokotoa to just memorize sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. I've heard some other people say Oscar had a hold on Arthur. That was Oscar had a hold on Arthur. Uh, take it or leave it. I like Sokotoa myself. So one things, some things that we're going to add this year that you didn't learn about in geometry, perhaps, are these reciprocal functions. And so all they are are the reciprocals of opposite over hypotenuse. And so you have hypotenuse over opposite, secant, um, hypotenuse over adjacent, and I've put the reciprocals right across from the ones that are the reciprocals, adjacent over opposite. And so this is CSC, we say co-secant, and this is SEC, which stands for secant, and this is COT, which stands for cotangent. So obviously the tangent and the cotangent are reciprocals. That's pretty easy to remember. But unfortunately, the way it worked out is that sine and cosecant go together, and cosine and secant go together. So I didn't make this stuff up. The S goes with the C, and the C goes with the S. Unfortunately, you just have to deal with it. And so, take a deep breath. They are opposites. They don't go with their um, the same letters. So, let's try it out on a triangle. We're going to find all six trig functions. And so, we're going to find the sine. We're going to find the cosine. We're going to find the tangent. And then we're going to find the reciprocals of them. So, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. And so notice we've got an angle, and we've got the opposite side here, 
opposite side of the angle. Be careful, this is not the hypotenuse because this is the hypotenuse which is looking actually like the bottom of the triangle. And this is the adjacent side to our angle. So one thing we're going to need, because we have this side is 1, it's kind of drawn over it, this side is 1, this side is 5, and we're going to need to find the hypotenuse, because right now we only know opposite over adjacent is 5 over 1, or 5, which would mean the cotangent, the adjacent over the opposite, adjacent over opposite, is 1 over 5. And so we have this so far. We have this. Right triangles. If you guys remember, Pythagorean theorem. We're going to need it. Pythagoras, Pythagorean. And so that was if you had a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I'm going to go on the assumption that you guys have seen this before, but a and b are the two sides, the two legs, and then c has to be the hypotenuse. And so if we have 1 and 5, we have 1 squared plus 5 squared equals c squared, and so we have 1 plus 25 is c squared, so we have 26. Now, the hypotenuse isn't 26, it's the square root of 26. When we take the square root of both sides here, usually it's plus or minus. I'm going to ignore the, the negative because our triangle can't be a negative, have a negative length. So, sine is the opposite of our angle over hypotenuse. 5 over root 26. Now, I'm going to rationalize this in a second. Cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, 1 over root 26. That's cosine, so ka, the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the reciprocal of those right away. Cosecant is the reciprocal of the sine, so I just flip it over. Root 26 over 5. Secant is the reciprocal of the cosine, and so it's just going to be root 26 over 1, which is root 26. So, these over here require rationalizing, so we're going to do that. We're going to multiply to cancel out the root 26 by root 26 over root 26. And we're going to get 5 root 26 over... 26 times 26 is 26 squared, so it's going to cancel out the root. And we're going to get that. Same thing, multiply by root 26 over root 26, and you get root 26 over 26. It's kind of weird because these don't look exactly like reciprocals after we rationalize. So, sometimes we have the actual angle, and we have to find the missing sides. And so, if this angle is 22, and this angle is marked as a right angle, that means we've got a leftover angle that we can find here. This is 22 and 90, and all triangles add up to 180. That would leave 58 for this one, because 90 takes off 90 of the 180, leaves another 90 degrees, and 22 plus 58 is 70, and that's just 80. Let's correct this. 68 degrees. That's a little bit better. So, now that we found that, I'm going to pause the video and come back in our next video and just finish this problem.